Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance in Tarot. So I'm going to do a relationship reading on Kate Middleton and uh, Meghan Markle. I've had a few people request on this um, wondering uh, how she gets along with the different royals. I might expand to the different royals um, but uh, it'll be bas basically on um, Kate and Meghan. All right so uh, I don't really follow them either. I did, I, I followed Princess Diana back in the day, you know, many, many, many years ago. It's 20 plus years that she's, since she's passed away now. Um, but I don't, I don't really follow the rest of the royals. All right. So when I think about Kate Middleton, she um, has, I feel she understands the royals. She understands the lifestyle and what is expected of her. When I think about her, she's all business. Okay, and then you look at Megan, and Megan is an actress from the United States, all right, who does not know the first thing about royalty, all right? So these two women are from two separate worlds, all right? I don't feel they hate each other or do not get along with each other. I feel they're very friendly and they're fond of each other, but there's no, there's nothing in common. Um <clears throat> I don't know if they live close to each other or not, but I don't feel they spend a whole lot of time together. So, I mean, they, of course, know each other, right? They know each other, but they don't, I don't, like, I just, I just don't get that. Like, okay, back in the day, there was Princess Diana and uh, Sarah Ferguson. I feel they were best friends, all right? These two are not, but it doesn't mean they hate each other. You know, I've been married before. I've had sister-in-laws before. And, um, you know, you come together at Christmas, you come together at Easter, you come together at birthdays. But, you you know, there's just sometimes you just, um, you know, other than that, there's not much of a relationship. All right. So I don't feel that these two um, get together, um, the two of them, or bond. Okay. So I guess that's the word. I don't feel that these two have bonded. But they don't hate each other. I, I think that they would like to get to know each other more, but it's very busy, okay? So um, Kate is busy with her children. It's like two different lives. So Kate's busy with her children, her family, and her duties and obligations. Then you've got Megan, who's busy with her husband and doing um, all the things that she has to do with him. Again, I don't know how close they live to each other. All right, so I don't feel they have a lot of one-on-one -on -one time together, but I feel that if there's like, for example, they all get together for a birthday or an anniversary or a celebration, that they will talk and they like each other. It's just two, like two different worlds colliding, okay? Um, it's not that Megan doesn't understand Kate and Kate doesn't understand her. Like, it's not that they don't want to understand each other. As people, they, le they like each other. Um, I just don't, again, I don't feel like they have a whole lot in common. All right. As far as the rest of the royal family liking Megan, they like her. It's Harry's wife. All right. Um, they've accepted her into the family, but they know that she's a long ways away from the crown. All right. Which, I mean, if I believe if it was William wanting to marry her, it would not have happened. They would have shut that right down. But because Harry is so far down the road, from um, the crown that I want to say they allowed it, right? Um, she is so far from royalty, it's really not even funny. She's not even English, right? She's from the United States. So a different race too. You know, that would not have happened. I'm sorry, like I, I'm not being racist here. It's the truth. It would not have happened if it was William that wanted to marry Megan, okay? Um, she's not cut from the same cloth but as a person they all love her dearly okay she's been accepted into the royal family um because you have <clears throat> you have the queen after that you have charles then you have william and i think two sons right so that's five okay so I don't know if the daughter would be accepted as number six if something happened. Like, um, because it doesn't, did Kate have two boys and a girl? Anyway, so if all three kids would be in line for the crown, that's six. And Harry would be number seven. So he is seven deep. 
to the crown. All right. So, so because of this, I feel that they allowed him to marry for love and not for prestige or whatever you want to call it. So do they like her as a person? Yes. She's learning and she's trying her best um, to fit in with the royal family. And they're accepting. I feel like lovingly they're accepting this woman. All right. Um, it's just not not that much is expected of her. Yes, of course, she needs to know the royal protocol and things like that. And she's learning. I think she got kind of like I feel like she got a crash course on that. And she's learning. Right. She's she's an actress. All right. She knows how to study, study her lines, that kind of a thing. So this is not an issue for her to study um, what needs to be done and what's expected of her, of her and what is royal protocol. All right. So as far as her and Kate are concerned, I feel, yes, they they um, get along really good. Uh, they just don't have a lot of quality time together. I don't feel they bonded, but I don't know if it's necessary. You know, there's I mean, I've gotten married before and never really bonded with my sister-in-laws. I'm married to their brother. That's who I need to bond with. And as long as they get along with the rest of the family, it's all good. I feel the same way. She married Harry, and as long as the rest of the family accepts her, it's all good. So they accept her, they welcome her, they love her because they love him, and her and Kate are friendly. They're fond of each other, they're friendly, I just don't feel like there's a lot of bonding that went on between the two of them. Again, because of time and um, other obligations and so forth. So there's no hate between the two of them or any of that, okay? All right, so I'm going to take out my cards. Might be a short reading. I don't know what else I can say about these two, but I feel they get on. They got on. They get on fine. All right. What are the messages regarding Kate and? Megan. All right, I'm shuffling till one card falls out. Those are clarity cards and jumpers. Okay, if more than one card falls out, like all these cards fell out, I'm putting them back. Okay, Kate and Megan. What are the messages regarding Kate and Megan? I think Kate's a Capricorn and Megan is um, a Leo. I'll, I'll double check that though. Actually, I'm pretty sure of it. <clears throat> sure of it. Kate and, Kate and Megan. What are the messages regarding Kate and Megan? Kate and Megan. So the very first card we have here is the Emperor, okay? So the Emperor, this card is, um, this card signifies support, trust, and order after a period of chaos or uncertainty. Uh, it also represents a committed relationship or making the right decision, but um, I do believe that they support each other. Okay, so the key meaning here is patriarch, authority, protection, support, courage, order, and structure. Well, there's all of that. There's um, courage, there's structure, there is order, there is support, there's authority. Okay, I do believe that they support each other. We have the two of spears. So the two of, that's like the two of wands. So the two of spears is if you are so this card is um 
partnership, plans, choices, travel. It's again, um, it's about support around you. Okay, so there's support around the two of them. They support each other, just like I said. And then we have the devil card. 15. So, whoops. 115. Okay. Okay, so the devil reveals an agreement, moral obligation, or relationship that restricts you. The card also stands for materialism and ego. So it can mean feeling enslaved by work or debt or negative people draining your energy or bank account. It's also the card of addiction to substances, sex, illicit affairs, or a pattern of victimization. All right, so the first thing, it's about an agreement, moral obligations, or relationships that restrict you. Okay, so... So the two of them are bound by some moral obligation. They have agreements um, and the relationship is restrictive because it is royals and they don't see each other much. Okay. All right. And I'll just see um, what messages regarding the, the two of them have. What are the messages regarding Kate and Megan in the next three months? Kate and Megan. Next three months, Kate and Megan. Kate and Megan. Kate and Megan, next three months. Kate and Megan, next three months. Kate and Megan, next three months. The Ace of Cups, I asked the next three months. This is, um, it's about creativity and it's flow in healing. The Ace reveals love and self-expression. Falling in love, pregnancy, and motherhood are, com are common meanings of finding the inspiration to begin a new creative venture. Whatever you hope for begins and you're in a flow. There are also opportunities for spiritual growth and healing. Love is given, shared, and returned in fullness. So here she is pregnant. Okay, so I believe that Kath, uh, Kate is um, supporting her. Okay, and then we have the Ace of Swords. And the Ace of Swords. All right, it's about... The Ace reveals success and breakthrough with determination and clarity of purpose. You get what you want in work, creative projects, and relationships. Everything changes for the better when this ace comes into play. But there may be some level of confrontation too. All right. So um, this is about insight, success, clarity, intellect. I, you know, it could be about them talking. What do they have in common now? She's pregnant. Kate has children. And so they could be, um, she could be helping her out in that area. And then we have strength. So their, their relationship could probably be getting stronger. Okay. Strength is eight. And strength talks about patience, courage, resilience. Strength invites you to get a situation under control, to connect with your inner strength, to deal with external pressures or internal conflict. This may mean taking a moral stance, holding your ground or your values, or dealing sensitively with a hurt, angry individual or wounded part of self. All right, so um, I believe that these two will just get closer. Okay, there's strength here in the relationship. All right. Okay, so that is the reading on Megan and Kate. Um, again, if you'd like to get a private reading, please email me and I will send you the information on how to get one. Uh, you'll get an ed energy reading and a tarot spread. I read people. That's what I do best. That's where I shine and do my best work. So, all right. Thank you for watching. I really hope you guys enjoy this reading. Okay. Thanks again. Bye-bye.